All right, guys, we're going to have a quick wander around the airport, uh, around Alicante. As you can see, that's where you normally come in and do your parking. This side is like, I don't know, I think it's 15 minutes free parking. If you're picking somebody up, this is where to get, get a lift. And if you're with the eco parking, I don't know if you can see the 30 signs. Let's do a zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, right between the tree and, yeah, if you head straight up there, sort of there to the near the near the end barrier that's where eco parking pick you up um, which is quite good it means you come straight out of the airport straight across the road and you're picked up in about 10 minutes normally um, but yeah the airport's getting back to as busy as it was before covid um, this is a new seating area which is quite nice you can have the yes mr bond chairs over there got some books you can actually read Let's see what they got du, 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 du. Oh, Sigmund Freud there's a few books I assume people leave them when they they finish with the books in the sense of you're coming through here finish your book and just leave it so other people can read it good idea As you come in, there's an immigration piece here. Just I'm not going to go too close on in case they tell me off. Um, but they've got the scanners there, and they'll stamp your passport as well if you're not a resident. Um, but basically, the B section once you're through there, you're ready to get on the plane when the plane's available. But I am finding that things are getting busier. I know I look out the window and there's not a plane there. <laughs> there's planes down here. East Midlands in uh, East Midland Fly and uh, Edinburgh. Brian Air Flights were there a second ago. They're probably gone now. So I quit that. Yeah, I think the planes have gone now. I mentioned it. Um, but yeah, it is getting busier. Although it's quiet today now that I've mentioned it. There's Hagen Dars now. Want some ice cream while you're waiting. They've added these big fans as well. They weren't there before. You know that they weren't working, but I'm sure I've never seen them. But they, they do cool quite well. You can feel it with you know if you stand underneath them. Is that Eagle? I'm not sure that's Eagle picking somebody up. The, the transit van over there. Got W. H. Smith as well. I'm not buying any more books. I've got 12. I've got to read because I find them interesting. I get busy with work, so then they're sort of parts on my shelf. I need to start putting one in my bag until I read it. Burger King at the top. I normally go here for a coffee. I've got an early flight. I normally go there because it's always quiet because it's so far from the main terminal. Um, so I normally grab a, in fact, I might grab a coffee. What time have we got? Yeah, I've got enough time for a coffee. So They've turned the volume down in those speakers, you know, because normally I can't hear myself think when they're blasting out. Yeah, but the, I normally sit over there in the corner, out of the way. And um, they've got a nice little hidden seat in there. We'll go over and have a look at it. got some lounges over here in the corner so I can lounge and look at your easy jet plane
but like I said, it is getting busier. Um, I'm seeing a lot more planes on this tarmac. Um, and I know there's some strikes coming up if they haven't already. Um, I think the, in Spain they've got some strikes and obviously the UK's having some uh, disruption as well with trains and whatever. Um, it does seem that everybody's starting to protest for various reasons. Um, I've got to admit I do get some of it because I've seen how some people are getting treated in some places. Um, so I get it. Um, and also the cost of living shooting up. Which, which for me, I can, I can sort of absorb it. So I do get it when people are on minimum wage. Um, that affects them a lot more percentage-wise. But the other side of that being is I do think a lot of people on minimum wage are getting pushed to do jobs above and beyond a, a lot of time these days. Um, probably because of shortages, probably tied with the Brexit. I know I, I try not to mention that word. Um, but obviously, when we where a lot of people were sent home back to their homes um, they haven't returned because like we don't want you so okay fine and when you read up on some of them um, because they can get the same sort of money like fruit pickers for example they can get the same sort of money fruit picking in Spain but look at the weather you know and people actually want them here where often there's a lot of negative stigma um, pushed by the media so we can't sit there and complain that nobody wants to come and work in the UK anymore we've encouraged it we should actually be doing the opposite encouraging people to come and do the jobs that people don't want uh, and respecting people for doing them you know you look at the number of people that work in you know as nurses and whatever there's a phenomenal amount of people we're relying on around the world you know, it's not just about Brexit. You know, I know a lot of doctors come in from India, for example. And the fact is, they're needed. It's not a case of, oh, well, we'll just replace you with somebody else. There's nobody available. But anyway, soapbox away. Just just preparing for my flight. So I'm going to make my coffee. Well, I'm not going to make I'm going to buy it. <laughs> make my coffee. I'm going to buy my coffee and chill out for 30 minutes. Um, and get ready for my flight and maybe I'll sit down in one of these lounges and chill out. Alright, have a great weekend guys.